Embark on a journey of creativity and innovation as we delve into the realm of phrase effects in CapCut PC. Let's use this video as an example. Begin by duplicating your video to create an overlay. Click the overlay video, navigate to the remove BG option in the video settings, and select auto removal to eliminate the original background from your footage. Duplicate and paste multiple background remove layers to prepare for the cloning process. Then, click to select the second overlay and hide the other overlays. Position your playhead where you want the freeze effect to begin. Then click on freeze. This action will freeze your video at that point and split it into three segments. Delete the first and third segments, keeping the middle frozen part at the start. Adjust the frozen part duration to the cursor position, which is also the freezing position. Repeat these steps for next overlays. Continue this process for each clone, freezing the footage at the right moments and arranging them on the timeline accordingly. Once you've completed all the cloning steps, play the video to see the stunning freeze in motion effect with multiple clones in action. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Let's take these two videos as an example. To start, add the two videos to the timeline. Place the playhead at the beginning of the second video. Ensure the second video is selected. Then click on freeze to create a freeze clip. Drag the freeze clip to the end of the first video and adjust its duration to one second. Now select the overlay layer, go to remove BG in the video options and click on auto removal to delete the background. Navigate to the Animation tab and choose a style that suits your video. For this tutorial, I'll choose Slide Left as an example. Select the animation and adjust its duration to cover the entire freeze clip. Next, head to the Transition tab and search for Shutter 2. Drag and drop the transition between two videos. Adjust the transition duration to achieve the desired effect. And there you have it. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Let's use this video as an example. To start, 
Make sure to turn off main track magnet and turn off linkage. Then duplicate the video to the second layer. Hide the second clip and focus on the first one. Next, move the playhead to where you want the freeze frame effect to start. Click the freeze button. Delete the unnecessary parts and adjust the clip's length to match the original footage. Now, let's add a border to our freeze frame. Click on the freeze frame layer. Go to Video Basic. Scroll down, find the canvas. Click on the drop down menu and select a color for the border. Make sure the playhead is at the start of the freeze frame. Create position and size keyframes. Then, using the right arrow key, move the playhead 5 frames ahead and adjust the scale to 95%. Next, right click on the clip and create a compound clip. Enable the second clip and rearrange the layers. Move layer 1 clip to layer 3 and layer 2 clip to layer 1. Now click on the top layer. Make sure the playhead is at the start of the clip. Create position and size keyframes. Then, using the right arrow key, move the playhead 7 frames ahead and adjust the scale and position as needed. Next, we can add a camera shutter sound effect can bring your freeze frame to life. Search for a camera shutter sound in the audio library, add it to your project. And there you have it, a simple yet effective freeze frame effect using CapCut on your PC. Feel free to get creative and experiment with different settings to make it your own. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's use this video as an example. To start, add it to the timeline. Navigate to the specific frame you want to freeze. And click on freeze. This will create a still frame at the selected moment. Adjust the duration by dragging the edges of the frozen clip to your desired length. Next, let's add a zoom in effect to enhance the visual impact. Tap on the freeze frame clip to select it. Then adjust the scale slider to zoom in. Drag the subject to achieve the desired look. You can also add filters to enhance the overall style of your video. Browse through the filter options, select one that fits your video, and adjust its duration accordingly. To add more depth to your project, include sound effects or music. Go to the Audio tab, click Sound Effect, Search Beat. Add to the Timeline.
and adjust the timing and volume to sync with your freeze frame. If you want to add another freeze frame, simply repeat the process and copy paste the effects and sound layers. Make any final adjustments if needed. Once you're satisfied with your creation, preview the video to see how the freeze frame, zoom in effect, filters, and sound come together. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.